another video. In this video, I have put together the full set of tips and tricks. Everything you need to complete all the Royal High Summer 2021 quests. I really hope this video was helpful because I spent so much time on it. And I really hope you guys will enjoy it and find it useful. This includes all five summer quests, but if you are looking for a specific one, I do have the timestamps in the description box down below. So you could just go there or you can go to my individual videos. I have the links also in the description box down below. So if you are looking for a specific quest, you can go there. Before we get started, it would mean so much if you would like this video, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and share it with your friends so they also know how to complete all the summer quests. I really hope this video will help you complete the summer quests easier and get you to enjoy doing the quests more. Okay, let's go. To start the quest, you need to go to the stage area and talk to Albert Kim, the NPC. Oh my god, there are 40 musical notes. This is going to be long. I want to note that before we get started... Oh gosh, that's not pun. <laughs> Something I want to point out is that everybody's musical note locations are different. Your locations won't be the same as mine. So this tutorial is to help you guys check... For places that you might not have checked, like you're just missing the last few notes and you don't know, you feel like you've checked the whole map and you don't know where the last few ones are. Well, maybe your last few places are in places that my musical notes are and you guys haven't checked yet. So this video is to help with that and also I will also be giving some tips for how to find them. Hopefully this will be helpful and hopefully I won't suffer too much. <laughs> Let's go! to retry it and quit the quest because it was just impossible to find the last and I spent over an hour trying to find that one note. So we're gonna try it again. Woohoo! I really hope this time we get it. This is it, the moment I've waited six hours for. <gasps> the final music note. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so ready. Let's take it. Get it, get it, please. Get it. Yes! Okay, Albert! Albert, take my music note. Woo! Oh my gosh! OMG, you found them all. Let's try them out. Yes! We did it, guys! <laughs> we finally did it! The hardest quest. Okay, let's open it. <gasps> You get an antique messenger satchel. Can't really sit with the dress, but it's three toggles. Yes! 
here are the best tips I have to offer with these. Do it with a friend. If you guys start at the exact same time, start the quest together and all your music notes will be in the exact same place so you guys can explore the places and you know you get four eyes four eyes is always better than two look everywhere except for the vault the part behind the vault in the cave that part does not have any music notes and also the neighborhood living area make sure to also look for music notes in the water they are also there i suggest having the filter of royal day on i think it's called royal day i can't see it you see how small this is like i don't understand but the filter you should have on while doing it is this one the one on the second row to the very right and that will make the screen turn completely different color and it is so much easier to see especially in the dark if you're stuck and you just can't find anything at all restart it because then you'll have a clearer mind and it will be much easier because you know you're pretty much familiar with it it doesn't matter how many you were on like i was on 39 out of 40 and i still decided to restart it because i just couldn't anymore so yeah and the second time was much 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 quicker than the first time it was, it was just because of that one last music note i'm blaming it my last tip is if you just can't find any music notes, then check through the places where I found my music notes first before you decide to reset because those are places where music notes can spawn. Your thing won't be exactly the same as mine, but there are places where music notes can spawn similar. Good luck on finding your music notes. Where is the lighthouse? Well, you gotta face the beach and then head all the way to the right. Somewhere in the mountain range to the right, the lighthouse will be there. Then you gotta knock on the lighthouse door. After you knock on the lighthouse door, a new NPC will appear on the map for you. This NPC is called the Vacationer and she is right here outside Crown Pass. After you talk to the Vacationer, you will unlock a new dialogue with the lighthouse. So you gotta go back up there. I know this is back and forth. It really helps if you have the Fly Speed Game Pass and just keep spamming the door. It will tell you, you know, that ice cream store is really great. So we gotta go down to the ice cream door door ice cream door ice cream store if you don't have the fly speed game pass you could just reset your character because the spawn point's pretty close to frostbite the ice cream shop so you go inside and talk to darla this time when you chat with darla there is another option you can pick about the lighthouse and darla will tell you that you need to go find another person this person you have to find is on another island it's not on the main island it is near the jet skis so to find it you can just follow the cable car path because that basically leads you where the jet ski places are so just go to the cable car path and here in this island you'll see that there is another dude over there and that's who we need to talk to luke will tell you that you need a strawberry ice cream in a cup and that's what you need to buy from darla so we go back to the ice cream shop again we gotta order this strawberry ice cream so in a cup don't pick cones pick the white one on the right and pick strawberry you get it for free and don't drink it don't eat it i mean you can but you can just get another one and you gotta deliver it up to the lighthouse here gotta knock on the door holding it and now you have the ice cream. The door is now open to the lighthouse and you are able to go in. You need to leave the strawberry ice cream cup on the table and walk near it. And this pop-up will come, place it there. Then you got to go find a key. So you can pause the video if you want to find it or just keep watching. I'm going to tell you where it is. It's right under this cloth. Click it and the key will be right here. It's called a diary key, which will allow you to unlock the diary on the table. You can now read the captain's notebook with this, which looks like a journal. I like it. So fancy. Let's go down to the cave. So go round the back. Go round the back. So behind the lighthouse and then fly down. There is this like river place and that is the cave. Just follow this path down. This is the vault that we gotta open to move it you just click on whichever symbol you want to move it to and it will automatically move at the top the outer ring needs to be a starfish so we're gonna click on that and it moves out there the second one is the pearl now the pearl is not this one it is this one which is upside down so it looks a bit different but it's this one a pearl inside a clam the third ring is the mermaid tail and the last one is the sailboat so we're gonna click on that it has to look like this make sure your vault looks like mine and click submit after cracking the vault don't leave this cave yet we gotta go deeper inside you can fly to the rocks right next to it and the rocks should be movable there is a shipwreck doesn't that look so cool so oh, 
it's kind of dark, but don't fall. Stay flying. It's easier. Fly up to this door and knock on the captain's ship. Whoever's behind this door also wants food. And they want something chocolatey, specifically. So guess what? We're going back to the ice cream shop. I'm not even gonna bother using my flight speed. I'm just gonna reset my character because it takes way too long. <laughs> we're gonna get him a chocolate ice cream cup. And we're gonna go back to the cave. Put the chocolate ice cream cup in your hand and knock on the captain's ship with it. The door opens up and you can go inside. We're looking for a satchel. Super easy to find, except for the fact that it's exactly the same color as the whole cabin. Just walk straight ahead. And the satchel should be over here, hiding right behind the table. We're gonna walk over and take it. And bring this back up to the lighthouse. The door is closed again, so you gotta knock, holding the satchel in your hand. This cutscene will play as he takes the satchel. So, we completed this quest. After completing it, you get this badge as well, and this prize. Let's go open the prize. Wow, okay, this is so pretty. It's the heart of the ocean necklace. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Here it is, there's it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, let's make this purple so it's bald and we can see it. And we can make the other one, the, the, the line maybe like black. There we go. Look at that necklace. It's so pretty. You have to do this quest. It is so nice. Like the storyline is amazing. <laughs> to start the quest, you need to go inside Ocean's Nursery, which is facing the beach, and talk to Ocean Orbs. Now that you get the quest, you'll see you have 10 ingredients to find. Before we get started, it would mean so much if you would subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna tell you guys that the items are all scattered randomly for everyone. They are different, so what my locations are might not be exactly the same as yours, but here are just some of the locations because there are certain spawn points and there'll be some that you will definitely have and others where you might not have. I'll also be giving you guys some tips on how to do it. So the first one is right next door to Ocean Orbs um, place, yeah, in the pizza area. I've, I've had this place in like a few times. I tried the quest a few times and I kept getting this one even on another account. So the pizza pasta place is definitely one that you should go see because that one that's a really high chance that you get this one so let's get that and that's a white shining orb let's go find the next ingredient Ooh, look here's my next ingredient it is a candle this one's so pretty let's go get it so this one was uh, right outside the summer accessory area the third one is also a candle and it is right here behind the pizza shop so they're pretty much all on Main Street so far. Not Main Street. The Well, the street, you know, the shop street so far. And around the shop areas. What is that? That is a leaf. And I'm pretty sure that is an ingredient. So don't forget to go inside the shops to find your ingredients as well as on the streets outside. I think I saw something glowing. Here. Oh my gosh. That's my fifth one. It is a blue candle. That one is so pretty. Let's go get that one. Good job! Only five more to get your prize, and we've only went through half the street. <laughs> Let's check the ice cream area. Oop! Nope, there is something inside the ice cream area. Let's pick it up. Six! We are so close. We're over halfway there. Wow. So I'm gonna go over behind because I remember I found one. Oop! Yep! Behind over here, we have our next one. Number seven, another blue candle. Oop, look at that. Number eight is a teardrop. Also check the shops at the back because look what I found over here inside this sapphire store is a feather. I'm about to scream at something. It took me so long to find this one. Okay, uh, wait. Let me pick it up. Okay. Last one. Guys, this is the last one. We just need to find one more. One more piece of suffering. And then we've completed one out of five quests. All right, so you know how I walked in here and I found one of the ingredients there? Well... Look at the other side. There's a teardrop. Here's the last one. This is the last ingredient. Let's get it. In three, two, one. <gasps> we did it. Okay, now we have to take it back to Ocean Orbs to claim the prize, which is right next door. And that is so great. You have to feed it to the plant. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, I love this. That looks so cool. Yes, we did it. We kept, uh, we helped her keep up with this place. Woohoo. So, what's the prize? <gasps> I'm gonna put this like in the green screen, in front of the green screen, so I can get a thumbnail picture later, too. Let's open it, and you're gonna get <gasps> a froggy bucket hat. So that's what you get from completing this. That is so cute. <laughs> Let's go put it on our avatar. Froggy bucket hat. 
that's so cute. It's just it's a bucket hat like within a frog design. Let's take let's take off the head I, I'm currently wearing. What am I wearing? Okay, there we go. <gasps> so it has three toggles, and this is how it looks like from different angles. Frog face. Woohoo! So we completed this quest. That's one of the quests completed, and my camera broke. So here you have it. That is how you complete Ocean Orbs quest. My best tips to complete it is to only check on the floor. You don't need to check anywhere like on top of umbrellas or inside pots or plants and trees. No, they're all on the floor and out in the open or inside a building. Definitely check the buildings. 100% you'll have at least three ingredients inside the buildings. I had ingredients in all the buildings that you can walk into except for the coffee shop and the mobile dimension store it's not the dimension store that's on earth but except for the mobile store and the coffee shop and finally to also stay within the building area don't go to the beach or the mountains or the cable car or the sea you won't find anything there just stay within this little grid you see that grid line there yeah don't go beyond there just stay within here and i don't think they'd be behind like the apartment area something i noticed with these ingredients is that they disappear when you are far away from them and you have to go up close to see them but when you're far away they do give off these little colored sparkles which is basically the way to find them start the pizza quiz you are going to have to talk to zed here after talking to zed you will have this little order here which you have to complete now before we get started don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video let's go when you have this quest active, you are completely unable to fly. You can just jump. So to get around, you're supposed to use these motorcycles, which you sit on, but I can't sit on them for some reason. Okay, so this quest is like clearly glitched and that's just annoying. Why are you letting me sit on motorcycles? <laughs> Bikes work. So you can use a motorcycle or a bike. I'm just gonna use a bike because motorcycles isn't working for me. It's not letting me sit on it. Yeah, let's just use a bike. It still allows you at least. So you're supposed to go and deliver the pizza to this place. It is crowned casuals. If you don't know where something is, you can just use your crystal ball if you have the game pass. It's really helpful in helping you just find out where it is first. Well, I, I'm not too familiar with this map. I don't really know where everything is, but I have a little trick that I love to use. And this is only if you have the game pass, you can use the crystal ball, which you can move around so much quicker, so much freer, and it's much easier to find wherever you need to go, especially if it's in the town. Oh, look at this, ground casuals. We know we need to get over here. So that's all the way up that side of the map here. And it says to ring the doorbell, you need to hold your pizza box. Okay. Yay, no party is complete without pizza. And we got one, uh, oh no, two. Oh wait, what? No, oh no, that's our next order. Oh, so you do have, okay. When you deliver a pizza, the ticket automatically changes to your next location. And this is 11523 Diamond Beach BLVD. These are like a new addition to this realm. Okay, I, I cannot get my bike up this thing. This is so sad. Okay, you know what? Let's just get another bike. The places for these housing, those like with Beach BLVD at the end, those are in a new section that they added with this wave which is at the very left side of the map if you are facing the apartments area. So we're gonna go up here through this tunnel and up this tunnel. One, one, five, two, three. That's five, two, one. Oh, no, ah, five, two, two, five, two, three. We got it. Let's keep the shift on. That makes it easier. Ring the doorbell. Please give me like a lot of diamond beach places in a row. No, I have to go to Starstruck Skatery. Okay, so that's back down. I'm too lazy to go back down, so I'm just gonna reset my character. Boom. And we'll just get teleported back down. <laughs> at the end of this, I'm gonna have like a lot of bikes up there, on the road up there. Okay, Starstruck Skatery again. I'm gonna use my crystal ball to try and find where this is. Let's just walk in that direction and see. I, I don't, I'm not even pressing a key right now. I just left it over there and my avatar is just walking straight ahead. That's a really good trick I learned from doing the pizza delivery thing in Bloxburg <laughs> for coins. No, not coins, money. So yeah, that's really helpful. I, I still have like a lot more orders to go. I'm not going to bore you guys. I'm just going to put a 
speed time lapse of me completing the next few orders. After a while, I decided that walking around with the run toggle on was much quicker than using the bikes. So I ditched the bikes and walked around delivering pizza. I also used the same trick with the bikes, but with walking this time of holding down the run key, the key that makes your avatar move forward, held down the key while clicking on the chat bar, then releasing both the click and the key so your avatar just moves forward without you having to click anything like that i was able to go somewhere else and just do something quickly or scroll on my phone chilling around while my avatar runs to whatever destination it needed to go also using it by running instead of on bikes allows you to move around without you having to click and do everything over again you can just hover your fingers on the trackpad and use that to turn your direction of the avatar super quick super easy and allows you to do it afk this one is the final one now we have to take our finished tickets back to zed so we're gonna reset and get down to the pizza place Woo, zed Come, let's talk. Okay, we have our prize over here. Let's go open it. And, oh, oh, okay, so you get an oversized summer shirt. I can't remove the pizza box, but you get an oversized summer shirt from completing this quest. That is so cool. Let's go put it on. Oh, it goes over the top, has four toggles. Wow. So that is this item for the pizza quest. Wow, look at that. The motorbike actually works. After I finished the quest, you know, it would have been so much more better if you were working while I was doing the quest, you know, not not like when I'm done with it because now this is kind of useless. Thank you very much. But it is definitely much quicker than the bike and much quicker than walking or running. So if you can use the motorbike, use it. If you can't, don't bother going to the bikes. Just walk just run i'm just gonna tell you guys this trick again because i love it and it is so good because of this trick i was just scrolling through twitter for most of the time doing this quest then chilling because i didn't really have to do much what you do is to run forwards press the run key to go forwards don't do anything like turn around right now just just run forwards then while you're running holding down the key you press the chat and now you can let go of everything and your avatar just moves on its own it is better to do this running with the run toggle on always have it on if you are on foot because it makes the faster obviously you can turn around much quicker by just hovering your fingers above the trackpad and you don't have to stop in the middle to turn sorry for the people doing this on mobile that trick won't work for you Last one, in case you've forgotten, I already mentioned this, but I'm just going to bring it up again. If you have the Crystal Ball Game Pass, use it to find shops around the town because it is so much quicker to move around. <laughs> to start the quest, you need to find the lifeguard on this beach near this small little stand and talk to him. Now that we have the quest, I'm going to start cleaning up some trash and yeah, you guys can just see me collect all my trash. Uh, not my trash it's not my trash but you guys can see me collect all the trash and at the end i will give you some tips and tricks on how to do it quickly My final piece of trash I need, it's not even on the beach or anywhere near it. It's literally on water. Like, I, it's supposed to be on a rock, but the rock is kind of submerged, so it looks like it is on water. Anyways, let's get in. We did it. We did the final quest. I finally finished all summer quests. We just gotta, like, get this item. Lifeguard, I did your duty. This collab is over. It sucked. You didn't even help. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Let's open it. We get summer flippers. Let's try and put those on. So those are definitely footwear. Let's go here. Oh, wait, that's not. Okay, it's footwear, but it's an accessory section. I see. And you can wear it on top of heels because it's an accessory. Oh, it's not loading in. Load in, please. Do I have to color more than one? Do I have to color all of them? Wait. Ah. No, <laughs> my thing's not loading in.
look, now it's on. Great Bird swimming in the water, and there is this really, really awesome effect, like, that just floats off. Yeah, it's like water effect. You, you could be on land and splash water everywhere, so those flippers are really cool. Honestly, I didn't really find the beach quest too difficult. Everything was just on the beach or just somewhere on sand, ex except for my last one. That one wasn't on sand, but everything else was. There are, however, some places that are super easy to miss and you have to check, such as the lifeguard house, which is right behind me, the stage where you find Albert Kim's MPC, and also check that place where I found my last piece of garbage because garbage could be floating there. The boundaries for where the garbages are is within this beach and the most it goes up to is up to the waterfall on that side and the beach house on the other side. All the garbage is within that area and the sand color. There are no garbage floating on the small islands over there, only in the island where there's the cable cars. And also make sure to check the docks. I really suggest doing this quest in a systematic way just to make everything easier and you can keep track of where you found stuff and where you haven't yet. So first, you can go in the shore, start from one end of the shore, just the outside near the water, between the water and the sand, check that part for garbage. Then go to every tree within the beach area and then check every sand castle, then check every umbrella. And then after that, you can go see any places you haven't filled out like the bridge and the stage area and the beach house then you can go to the next island and look for everything else and if you're missing one or two then you can just go around try and fill it and definitely check that place where i found my last one thank you so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe turn on the notification bell and check out my social links in the description box down below also, share your tips and tricks on how to complete the summer quest quicker and easier with other people in the comment section down below. We can all share and help each other out. Okay, that is it for now. Have a super sweet day. Dat Sad Cupcake, out.